Rainbow Six Siege has had a drop of almost 50% of its players just because the new season is just boring. So I've got five operators and strats for you to try so you can have fun in Siege again. I guarantee you after this video, you'll want to play Siege again. So make sure to stick around to see the last operator because that one you're going to have the most fun with. So for number five, I have Ying. Now you might think my teammates are going to hate me because I'm just going to flash them, but they won't be mad because you're going to Ying rush with the shotgun. This combo of flash grenades and the shotgun is so good that the other team won't even know what happened. Now, it's pretty straightforward to do this. Just equip the shotgun, run in, no droning is needed, and you'll have so much fun just being up and close with the shotgun. It, it, that, that's where the fun is, just the shotgun. The shotgun is so good. Another thing you can try is the Ying Rush Plant. If you're playing in a stack of three or more, you could smoke and flash the enemy so much that they won't even know that your teammate is even planting. Or you could do the opposite. Once you plant, throw your smokes and hide near the bomb, like under a desk, or wait for the enemy to defuse. And they won't be able to find you because of all the smoke. And then at the last second, you can go out and shoot them. Now for the number four spot, I have Monty. So he recently just got a buff and he is a very solid pick, especially if you have a solid team behind you. We all know Monty in a 1v5 is almost impossible, so a cheeky Monty rush is always a good way to have fun to play him. Not many people are going to expect Monty in sight so early into the round, so they're most likely going to waste a lot of their util on you. This will help your team either pick them off while they're doing this, or be able to plant behind you in sight to get a nice rush plant going. Now, you could either do this, or you could actually go a bit more stealthy and try to sneak your way up to sight and actually catch people off guard and be able to just bump them over and knife them in sight or what you could do is after the plant has been gotten down you could just stand next to the bomb like a security guard and no one's going to be able to defuse the bomb because they won't have any c4s left and you're just going to be sitting there all nice in the number three spot i have cav cav is one of the most fun operators but also one of the most skilled operators in the game if you know how to play a well, you can get an interrogation every round which will delay any push from happening and catch any attacker off guard who is in the building. But what are the best ways to have fun with her? Well, that's also using her shotgun. Another way to play Cav is to sit underneath windows and melee people as they jump through. Now I know this is pretty predictable, but if you can run away from sight at the very beginning of the round and not get spotted, no one is going to expect it. And a lot of the time, no one actually drones, especially if you run to the other side of the map. So it's actually a very easy way to get an interrogation very quickly. This will 100% frustrate the enemy and make them paranoid and force them to drone every single round after that, wasting their time later on in the game. In the number two spot, I have Kali. Now, Kali is probably one of the most satisfying operators to get kills with. Being able to one shot someone or hit multiple shots in a row is just so satisfying. So all you have to do is sit really far back and bait your teammates and then push the site last second like the diamond player you are. Or you can sit on the wing of the plane or in the gazebo on chalet for the entire round and not help your team at all. She can also help with hard breaches too, but where's the fun in that when you can sit holding an angle for the entire round? Before we get to the last operator, if you've enjoyed the video so far, please be sure to like and subscribe as these videos do take a while to make and it really helps me out. Thanks. In the number one spot, I have Clash. Now, the operator you can have the most fun with is Clash. Any person you come across 90% of the time will just back away, which allows you to keep zapping and ticking away at that damage. However, there are so many different combos you can try with her, it's actually insane. I'm going to go through a few personal favorites of mine starting with the easiest going all the way to the hardest. <laughs> starting with the easiest, I've got zapping the enemy as much as possible. If you have a few friends to play with, get as much barbed wire as possible since now it does damage and also bring a maestro as well to just zap them as much as you can. This is so fun to try and even better when it works. The next thing you can try, which is a bit harder but a bit more well known, is the Clash 360. All you have to do for this is put your shield on your back when facing the enemy and do a 180. Wait for them to shoot the shield a little bit and then turn around shooting the enemy in the face. Now if you think that's easy, try doing this with a melee.
If you enjoyed this video, I highly recommend that you watch this video here where I tried the worst loadouts in Rainbow Six Siege.